Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the Green Money Full Moon reading for the Leo. So we're supposed to have a Green Moon on the Full Moon um, on the 22nd of April this year. <clears throat> so um, I just want to look at the cards for you guys. It's going to be a quick five card general reading for the Leo for the last half of April. Um, it may not resonate with you, okay? Like I said, for a personal reading, definitely contact me on my website. So for the Leo, we're going to be looking at your current financial situation. Uh, will money be coming into your life very soon, Leo? Uh, money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. Um, who or what project is going to bring in more money? And then the outcome. <clears throat> so this is a five-part spread. So Leo, let's look at card number one. Um, this is your current fin financial foundation and you got the eight of wands. So I'm seeing a lot of hard work. Okay, a lot of energy is being directed towards overcoming something at the moment. Um, all in all, this is a good card because this is letting you know that you are going through something. You're frustrated about something. You're tired of waiting on something. And this is letting you know you need to just be patient. Okay, so right now you kind of feel like things are not moving ahead. Okay, and at work you're waiting on decisions. Chances are that they're gonna that it's gonna be a positive outcome, but don't try to push it. Okay, be patient. Um, things don't seem to be moving financially. Okay, right now you're saving money, um, and so again patience. So this is actually a very good card because it's letting you know that. Whatever it is, whatever challenges, you're going to overcome them, okay? Card number two is, will money be coming into your life very soon? And we've got the hanged man. So there's a decision that um, needs to be made. Okay, so there's a decision. You're at a crossroads. That's what the hanged man means. So you need to make a decision. Okay, there's two different things that you're looking at. Okay, and also with this card being a major arcana card, this is letting you know, Leo, don't sacrifice your blessings. Okay. Um, some more information I'm getting from this hanged man card is that you know, whatever this decision is, whatever this this thing that is going on in your head, um, there's some sort of outdated attitude or wish that's going on. This is about being in suspension. So things are just kind of up in the air, you know, waiting for you to manifest it, Leo. At work, you're a little bored with your job. Okay, some of you Leos may be bored with your jobs. Um, you need to find out what you can personally do about it. If you can't do anything about it, then try not to make the, sl the slowness, slowness of the wheels of change personally. Don't take the slowness. Okay, things are going to change. It just may not happen on your timetable, so you just have to relax. Um, again, if things are tight, this it's an important time to open up the flow of prosperity by giving away some of what you have. Even if all you have is a piece of bread. Okay, so again, this is giving. Okay, whenever you give, whatever you give out, will you receive back. So when you give your time and also whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you have, put your time into it. Okay, it seems like to me you've kind of gotten bored with what you're doing so you need to put your time into it and then that's when you're going to get rewards from it so 
The answer is yes and no. It's going to depend on you if money's going to come into your life very soon, okay? Um, card number three is money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the four of swords. So at least it's balanced. But what this card is saying is that um, you need to go out, you need to go after whatever you want. You know, whatever it is that you want. And this is not really a time for you to take a break. It looks like you're kind of taking a break. Um, well, some of you do need a break. That's fine. But you're going to come off of a break. And, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be ready, you're going to make the decision. Okay, so it signifies either a break or maybe you need to take a break from normal life. Um, again, from work, you need to take a break. You're kind of burnt out. And as far as your finances, you may need to take a different course of action if you are behind in your payments and not sure where the money is going to be coming from. Okay, so think through ways to bring in extra money. If you own your own business and you owe money, call these people to bring in your money. Okay, because um, if you wait for people to pay, you'll be waiting a long time. You have to remind people <laughs> that they owe you money, okay? Um, so that is that card. So make sure that you are getting, you know, all that you want. Now, um, I will tell you that card number four is what project will bring in more money. You got the Knight of Swords. So whatever it is, it's about, it's about messages. And these messages can be good or bad. So this could be some sort of spiritual relates, related uh, feel. Um, maybe a feel where you have to provide service to others. Maybe some sort of EMT or something. Some of you might be thinking about becoming an emergency medical technician or an emergency response technician or whatever they call it. Maybe a 911 call taker. You know, they make pretty good money. Um, as far as with the, with your own business, if you are thinking about starting your own business, um, this is the Knight of Swords is someone that's very intelligent, um, very advanced intellectually. So this is a literal person. And so if there's an opportunity being offered by another person, then it's going to be a good opportunity. Okay. Your final outcome is going to be the devil card. So you want to make sure that you don't become a slave to money with this card, Leo, is what this is saying. Um, also, this card could be about extreme success. Okay? The devil card is not necessarily a bad card in the context of money in this position. Of course not, because it's the devil card. So these are things of the material world, okay? This is money success, okay? Now, some of you are feeling trapped in a job and you're gonna leave that job. So this is about trickery, okay? Um, probably because of security. You're not thinking straight. Don't just up and leave your job. Consider whether or not it's worth it. Now, as far as with your finances, things may or may get very tight in the near future. Try not to resent the situation, but to deal calmly and rationally with it. Now, I don't see that. When I see the devil card, I don't see necessarily trickery or whatever, but you do want to be careful. You want to be careful to not uh, be selfish, okay? You might get to the point where you might be, get a little bit too boastful. Okay, and it can make you look a little narcissistic. So be careful with that. Um, the devil card is usually a trap. Okay. Um, in the future for the outcome, it means the time is coming that you will have to find beauty within yourself and stop projecting. Okay, so I do see a major change. You are going to find the courage to change your life, to change your financial situation for the better. Okay. Um, just be careful to, to not 
you know, be you know, be honest with yourself. Um, I can also see there being some kind of situation with some sort of business love affair that may have something to do with money. You might want to stay out of that situation, Leo. Um, may not be good for you, okay? Um, that's going to do it for this reading. Um, make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up this video. And if you do need a personal reading, contact me on my website. Thanks for watching. Bye.